Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that actually took a while, but I'm glad I got one of those done. I'm going to make four of those uh, total, so there's going to be one on each side of the circle. It's going to be exactly the same, hopefully, and uh, and hopefully it looks good. And it turns out that, I, I think I've already mentioned this in uh, one of my episodes, but I actually miscount the walls. Uh, for the from what I'm basing this off of there's four not three so the final wall isn't gonna be 200 block diameter it's gonna be 400 yeah <laughs> that's gonna get ridiculous very quickly also uh, users submitted the names uh, let me hold on one second it is flyeria plays I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right hopefully I am but she submitted the name or the original black one which is this one his name is Ender. This one is Nether, and then their kid. This one is uh, is Aether, which I think is pretty fitting considering he's the one that has uh, that has what you call it, the iron armor, and the Aether dimension is the sky. So, and also something neat that I found out. I think this one he's actually the fastest. So, he feels the fastest to me. I don't know if that is actually true. But uh, Ender feels the fastest to me, comparing to... Uh, also, Aether is pretty fast. But uh, Nether is very slow. The only problem with this guy is he can't jump. Whew, barely got it. And then, uh, let's see how fast this guy is. Yeah, see, look, I, I'm pretty sure that's slower. There's really no way, no easy way to tell, but this feels slower to me. But look at that jump. That's some pretty awesome jumping. And you know what? I got some more apples. Uh, where's some gold? There we go. I've been doing a lot of mining for an upcoming project that I'm really excited for, but it's going to take so much stuff. I mean, so many materials. It's going to be ridiculous. But it's going to be so cool once it's done. Alright, so I'm going to breed you and you together. Hi, buddy. Yeah. I just realized I don't think I have a saddle for. Oh, yes, I do. Whew. I didn't think I had a saddle for him for a second there. I was like, oh no. All right. So how are we gonna differentiate? I don't think I'm gonna put armor on this guy. So. All right, there. Okay, yeah, you love me. Get that saddle on you. Boom. All right. I don't know what to name you now. Well, let's see how good he is. Uh, oh wow, very quick. Looks like he's got a decent jump height. Oh yeah. But a very quick horse. Very good jump height. Uh, let's see. Oh no, never mind. I lied. He's got the same jump height as his uh, as Ender, so. Oh. But still, I think that he's actually the fastest of the horses, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I'll be right back once I get all the materials ready for my next build, because I want to build these guys a stable. Like, a proper stable, not just this. I mean, this, it doesn't look too bad, but I, I want to give them something a bit better. And honestly, I have no idea what it's going to look like, so hopefully it'll turn out well. Be right back. Okay, so I think I am ready to uh, get started here. So I'm going to take our new pony. And uh, I'm going to... Well, maybe he does have decent jumping. Definitely seems more than uh, than Ender. Ender or uh, Aether. So, hmm, maybe. But the thing is, I'm, I'm not 100% sure where I want to build this. Maybe over here. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Uh, around here, maybe? Because I don't want it to be inside one of the uh, inside one of those walls. I want it to be like over here. Uh, I think I might actually have to move those. Oh dang, they're all grown up. Nice. I think I'm going to have to actually move this, which is going to be a pain in the butt. 
but unless I make this uh, section bigger than the others, which I might just have to. So, um, yeah, I think right here should be good. I didn't bring a leash for him, did I? Shoot. Alright, that's no problem. There we go. Get you in there. Go in the hole. Yay! Yeah, I know you don't like it. Calm down. Alright, uh, set up our project chest just so we, if we get any ex extra wood or anything. Alright. So, hmm. Which way do I? I think I'm gonna build it this facing this direction. And let's get those sideways. Uh, actually, yeah, that's gonna be like that. Nope. No, what are you doing? That's not. There we go. All right. So I want, I want, I want to make this pretty good sized barn. I mean, they deserve a, a nice area. I think that should be. Mm, I want to, I want to give them at least a three by three fenced in area. So one, two, three. Gap to get in between. Actually, I'll leave two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that leaves. Uh, that's that'll be about like six or seven horses I can fit in there, which isn't enough. I'm, I'm, I want like a legion, of, an army of horses. All right, there we go. I can always shrink him, shrink the pen size down uh, to a bit smaller if, if need be, but I don't think I will. All right. Also, I'm going to try and uh, follow the Vermin Supreme's uh, uh, ruling of that every home shall get a pony. So I'm going to, um, since there are no cars in Minecraft, obviously, I'm going to, for every testificate house, I'm going to have uh, at least one horse. And if they're rich enough, maybe two. So if you don't know who Vermin Supreme was, he's actually a candidate who uh, ran for presidency. And he was going to make it uh, enforced by law that you had to brush your teeth every night and that everyone got – there's a pony identification system. And uh, what it was is that you had to bring your pony everywhere with you. You had to ride it. You had to do everything with your pony. And uh, that's how you were identified. It was, it was pretty interesting to listen to. And then at the very end of this, he did, I'm quoting him here, a vote for me is a vote wasted. <laughs> So this guy was just a complete troll about it, but he did, he was, uh, I don't think he actually got onto the official ballot. He got close, though, like just from people on the internet voting for him because they liked him. But he, he got close to actually being able to run for president, which is kind of ridiculous, but entertaining at the same time. But I'm, I'm going to follow his his ruling, or like what he wanted to do, and, I wa and I'm going to give... Every single house, a pony. Why? Because I'm nice like that. Alright. Uh, I'm going to actually double check to see if this works. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use these. <clears throat> Alright, so one, two, three. And then a gap in between for me to get around yeah okay I'm just counting this out thinking to myself and let's see how this how many I can get fit into here because I can't fit too many into here like yeah see I'm gonna need to extend it one more this way just so I can get that final air uh, that final gap there that way everything will fit nicely. I might need to extend. I might have to extend it one further out this way as well, just uh, just to give me a bit more breathing room in between each uh, kennel. So uh, I guess these aren't kennels; they're stalls. I'm, I'm guessing is the proper terminology for this. So pardon if I am messing up the terminology. All right, and then, yeah, see, so yeah, I'm probably going to want to extend this out one more this way, 
just to get a bit more breathing room, because walking into, okay, well, I want this horse it's very confined I mean in between here it's very confined anyway but it's better than nothing uh, and with this how much how many horses can I get in here four eight yeah I, that should be enough for now of course <laughs> uh, hopefully I can get some uh, get a donkey or something I'm not sure if you can breed into a donkey I think you can if I can get a donkey that would be amazing I'd rather put a donkey in every home because it seems like they'd be much more useful than just a normal horse I mean horses are good for transportation but donkeys at least in Minecraft are stronger they're faster they can actually carry stuff which is very cool and yeah, there's no reason not to have a donkey if you can find one. Unless you just don't like the way they look. Uh, and then I think you can actually breed a mule or something like that. I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that one, so don't quote me on it. But I think you can breed mules in Minecraft. Which would be pretty cool, but after you breed them, you can't breed them again. Mules, uh, after you breed them, are actually sterile. Fun fact, if you didn't know that. Uh, but they are stronger than horses, and uh, they are also stronger than mules, so they are worth the breeding hassle. Um, there we go. Oops. I think that's this is going to be the layout of it. Yeah, I like it. And I'm going to have a little area for them to, like, that I can let them out. A little fence door. Actually, no. No, they're going to be confined into here. Who am I kidding? Uh, I was thinking about, uh, I just thought about, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a system for them to be let out every couple hours or something. And then I realized, I'm like, oh wait, there really is no good way to do that without, like, without having two of these blocks open, which would look really awkward. So... I, I can't think of a way to do it efficiently. Alright, um, now time to do the arch. Let's see how well we can do this. Um, let's try it. Wait, how many tall is this? One, two, three, four, five. Right, I'm gonna need some dirt. Uh, let's just do this. So that was, f wait, five tall? Yeah, I think it's five tall. So, one, not one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. So the next one will be four. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> one, two, three. One, two. And then one. And then wherever they connect, how does that look? Might be a bit tall. Um, yeah, that's a bit tall. Darn. Um, okay. Let's get back up there. Hopefully I got enough dirt. Uh, as I said, I have no plan going into into this right now. I had basic dimensions in my head of of like how big this how big I wanted the stalls to be. That's about it though. Alright, so I'm thinking we bring this down about two. And then So how tall is this? Four? Yeah, I'm gonna go four. So one, two, three. Including the baseboard, I mean. Um, one, two, one, and then where, and then I'm just going to do this really fast. Ah, we're going to have to move. Darn. There. And then have it be one, two. So same pattern I used for the, uh, for my little wall, or for my wall over there. Yeah, I think that I think that should be okay. 
So let's finish it up on this side and see how it looks. Just double check how tall this is. One, two, three, four. Yep. <coughs> All right, and then this one's three already. So this is the same height now. I think they are. Yeah, they are. And then put that there. One, two, three. One, two, one, and then that. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Now, what am I going to do? Probably going to have to sleep soon as well. I might actually, yeah, I think I'm going to use the hardened clay blocks. Um, I might use BW's style. I might have to go watch that video again. He, ha he has a really nice barn. But I'm not really sure I have enough clay to follow the design. Two. Look at that. It matches up perfectly. And let's go down here. Take off all of this stuff. Excuse me. Hmm. My stomach is just going crazy on me right now. All right. There we go. How does that look? Hmm. I came up with it. Maybe I should raise that up one more, but mm, I'll tinker with it later. I'm just going to finish this up. Finish this side up. I'm sorry. I won't leave you there for too much longer. Hopefully. And two. Wait, is this one supposed to be one? Yeah, this one's one. Alright, let's get the dirt there. One more dirt. There. Looks like I'm gonna need to sleep about right now. Uh, I should bring the bed out here to me. I wonder how many eggs I've stored up. Hmm. I cannot wait until this is done. It's going to be so awesome. I'm, I, uh, also, I'm going to need to start transporting the villagers out so they continuously breed. Because um, right now they're at the standstill of, let's say, like 20 or whatever it is villagers that they can have and that's all they're gonna do because they all migrated into that one house there isn't enough uh, villagers on both sides uh, here let's see let's actually check how many we have full there how many we got down there quite a few so it's progressing well and also apparently they uh, fixed the bug of how chickens and stuff were getting out of their pens and I was excited about that until I tried it, and sometimes they still get out. Kind of a bummer. I mean, it's actually just all animals how they get out of their pen. But I kind of wish that they did actually fix it. That would have been awesome. And... Is that how I did it over here? Or is this one too high? This is one too high. Here, let's actually see which one looks better. So I think I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this one, this side probably looks just a bit better. Oh, let's remove all the dirt first. Eh, yes. Come on. Hit the stupid dirt. Alright, so I can't get that one. There we go. Alright, so which one looks better? Uh, actually, that one's like too pointed. I actually like this one a bit more. Granted, they're both kind of pointy, but... That one kind of smooths out a bit faster and gives it a bit more rounded shape to it.
instead of just a triangle shape. It like looks like an A. Alright. Sweet. Now we need to uh decorate the side or not decorate, but just kind of finish off the side of our barn. For that, we're gonna need some uh some wood planks. Wish I had some uh some of the ma no not mahogany, uh not birch, uh the winter wood one. I forget what it's called. The darker of the types of trees. It's not mahogany. Is it? No. There's no way that's my Is it? I don't know. I don't even remember. I've been playing Superfly for too long. But, uh, I think that would be a, uh, wait, how am I going to do this? I just realized. Hmm. Unless I could. Hmm. Uh, I, I see. We can just do this. I was thinking, I was like, wait, where do I put the stairs? Because I was going to put it one block in. I was like, that doesn't make sense, because then I'll put the blocks on top of them. I'm so confused now. And I realized I can just put them right here. Um, and I'm, I'm stupid sometimes. Alright. Uh, after I finish this line, I will actually come back once, uh, once this is all done. Because this is pretty repetitive work. And honestly, I'm just going to repeat the same thing as I'm about to do right here. Just, oh, I should probably put one under here. So, make a line right here. And then, oops, just re stack up until, I, and then I do this for the next line. It's very simple. This is all I'm going to be doing. So, I'll be right back once it's done. Okay, so I finished up one side. I like where it's going, but I also don't at the same time. Uh, what does this actually make it look good? Uh, now. But what I'm thinking is we remove this line and replace it with uh, wood here. Well, nope. <coughs> this is going to be a pain in the butt to do now, but whatever. And how does that look? That makes it look a lot nicer. And I think I'm going to do that for each row up. Because it does look just too plain and too smooth. To like, It just doesn't look nice that way. So not even going to bother with it. And just, just trying to make it look as nice as I can. Honestly, as I said, I'm not very good at making things look nice. Uh. Oh, didn't want to do that. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the rest of the rows, and I'm going to come back to see how this looks. Okay, so I finished it up, and it is looking a lot better. I mean, that looks a lot nicer, at least to me, than it did before. So I'm going to continue with this pattern. And hopefully it'll turn out well. The only thing I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do is the roof. But I am going to give uh, each horse a window. About, yeah, right here. Right in the middle of their, um, of their stall. And hopefully we can make that look good. I, I might have an idea. I'm not 100% positive. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, just gonna repeat this all the way across and all the way up. I'm also not sure what I'm gonna do for the roof. Alright, so I'll be right back once I get this done. Okay, so there we go. It's actually looking really nice. I like it. Nice open area. And I am going to grab, uh, <clears throat> some fence gates. I think that those should make. Decently nice windows, in my opinion. And, uh, oh, oh, I'm one short. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, let's just test it out, see how it looks. Just a fence gate there. Maybe I'll put a few more. There. 
right there. Yeah, I might. I think I, I might actually. Hmm, will I? I don't know. And actually, there's one more option that I just thought of to make it a bit different. Uh, should probably just do it this way. There we go. All right. Uh, okay. Let's put just something there. Fence can't do that. Okay. I thought you could put a fence gate in the air, but maybe yeah, it needs to have something below it first. Then, uh, do I still have the slabs? I do. Let's try that. How does that look? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. How does it look from the inside? Comparatively. Yeah, nice open view. It seems to let in a bit more light than the other ones, but I think that might be just my imagination. I think I'm going to go with that, actually. Just because I think it actually looks quite a bit nicer. And boom. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Alright, uh, there. Alright, so I need to make one more fence gate and move all those back one, which I'm just going to do right now. And there we go. I think I'm going to leave it off here. I'm, I think I'm going to use uh, hardened clay blocks for the face of it. Um, just because it, like, they do look very good, especially the red ones. It looks very, very nice for a barn look. And, uh, but I, I only have three stacks of clay blocks right now, which is, I got those on, during my adventure for, uh, looking for horses. I would have get, I would have grabbed more clay or looked for more if I had more inventory space, but unfortunately I didn't, so. Oh well. Hopefully I can find a few more, though. Alright, there we go. And gonna make one more really fast. Mm. Whew, pretty tired. Alright. There we go. And boom. Got it. I'm still going to need to add torches and everything in here because it's still pretty dark. Actually, now now we need some uh, fences, don't we? Okay, so let's just turn all of those into sticks. And then right there, 36. Not going to be enough, but to start. I just want fences because horses can't walk over them, but they can jump over them. Making my life just a bit easier. I'm gonna have to, get, I'm gonna have to run back and go to bed soon. And there we go. What I'm thinking would be interesting is, uh, oh shoot. Um, taking off the saddle after each time I ride them. So once I kind of dock them, I will take off their saddle, put it into an item frame, and put it right next to the sign that has their name. So that way it, uh, so that way it's kind of like each horse has their saddle and that's actually what they do. They de-saddle them once, the, or, uh, actual Horse ranches? Yeah, I think that's probably the best word for it. But they actually desaddle the horses and they just don't leave them on. So I'm going to get some item frames and put them right next to the horses so I can take off their saddles and stuff. Oh wow, that does look actually very nice. I like that. Okay. Uh, finish up with the fences. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. I might put them like right there. Might even uh, have a lead on the other side that you can also break the item frame and grab. Just as a little uh, precautionary measure, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but maybe if you want to ride around and you know you're going to be having to tie your horse off somewhere, you're going to need a, you're gonna need a lead, and you don't always carry one with you, so might as well just keep it there. Alright, 
I'm just rambling now, I'm trying to think of stuff to say. <laughs> All right, and there we go. I think that should be plenty to finish up. But yeah, this took shape very quickly, and uh, I just need to finish up the front tomorrow. I need to get some more clay. This clay is actually quite scarce. Uh, in super flat worlds, you have to look for the little ponds and then go, uh, and hopefully they will have clay in them. So, hopefully, the horses don't glitch out. Like, if I were to put another animal in here and they got, uh, and I logged out while they're in that little half space right next to the fence, they can actually clip through the fence and make it through and escape. So, we don't want that. Alright, and there we go. Should probably actually grab some torches. No, I think we could probably do a better job on these uh on these stalls, but the only problem is that horses need a, a two wide exit to or a two wide hole to get through. So I was gonna build like an actual stall around them with the little roof and stuff, but I don't think that would really work too well with the space that I'm that I have given myself to work with, because they just require too much room to get out, and it wouldn't look very good. I would have to give them a much larger area to to mess around in than that if I wanted to actually give them a proper stall and everything. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, sweet torches. Uh, do I have any, any more coal? Nice. Alright. And let's just get a few more torches. I'm also going to move this cow farm. It doesn't work very well. It wasn't working as well as I expected just because uh, animals were constantly, or the cows were just constantly getting their heads stuck in walls and just they were dying before I could get there and stuff. It wasn't very good. And I think that should suffice lighting wise. Come on. Get up there. There you go. Okay, so I think that's this is a good place to stop. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please push the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, have a nice day.